Right now, we're actually working with the High Commission of Canada in the United Kingdom to produce a series of um, conversations between Indigenous artists and trailblazers in our community, which is great because they're helping us market it overseas to the audience in the UK. Uh, we just started talking about extending that into 2021. We also have a partnership with the Canadian Consulate or the Canadian Cultural Centre in Paris. And so the idea is to take a, a group of four Indigenous acts over to Paris for a week of meetings and performances uh, to help them to build teams in, in that market. And so it's um, working with mostly the consulates and the High Commission um, to, to help Indigenous artists build um, teams and markets and audiences and tour routes um, that, right. that they can do on their own in the future. And so that's, that's kind of uh, the extension of our, our brand overseas. And because our role in the community, the indigenous community at least, is, is more of a develop, developmental platform. So helping them build skills with our festival, it's mostly like an introduction to the festival experience mm -hmm. where they're gonna be advancing shows where they have to um, understand what uh, high resolution photos are, stage plots and tech writers, what goes into them. And also simple things like signing contracts, understanding what copyrights are involved in, um, and reporting music to or reporting set lists um, to SoCan. All those little steps that you know more exper experienced artists might take for granted is what we try and um, give at the festival. And then again, like I said, the um, the export missions, the stuff overseas is for the people that have had an opportunity to build build teams and are just looking to extend those overseas.